Hello everyone, this is Liz with Perlemon and today I'll be doing a review on the tool called Bonusly. If you're looking for your own SEO tool, feel free to visit ours at zippers.com to see if it is a tool for you. But let's go ahead and get started. So here is Bonusly and it is another recognition tool that is encouraging the company culture. So let's go ahead and take a look at our pricing. So here are our three pricing plans and overall the difference between each plan are just a little bit of features such as the incentives, the configurable admin permissions and some advanced reporting. But overall, I really like this tool no matter, I really like this tool no matter the plan. I feel like either of the plans are pretty decent and I feel like they all offer a lot. Let's go into our dashboard. So the way that employee recognition tools work is that in general, you can, you know, shout out a person and say, Hey, Celeste, you've been doing amazing with this project. I'm going to give you you know, 50 points or however many case it's 50 points. But with other tools, it's been, you know, it can be trophies, stars, whatever. And then those points can be then converted into rewards such as gift cards or some creative rewards and customizable rewards that you can do. So here is the home page, and this is where you can basically, you know, shout out your company members. This is an example, you put the at sign and then put plus and however much. And the great thing about this tool or this specific employee recognition tool is that they really like to relate points to company values. So there's company value hashtags that you can do. Of course, it'll vary on your company, but I like the way that they, that's the way they give out points. Of course, you don't have to do that, but that's something that they encourage, you know, to help you think of, oh, what am I, what should I be looking for? You should be looking someone who's innovative or does customer service, et cetera, and so forth. So I really appreciate that. It's basically a place to constantly post and recognize your team. So each month, each member will get 60 points to give away. Now, I don't know if that varies across the pricing plans. It didn't say, and I couldn't necessarily find where it says, because I feel like there should be more points for more members that you have. So this 60 points is a lot if I had, you know, a small team of 8 to 10 members. But if I have a team of 50 plus, 60 points is going to be, you know, a little bit too small, I think, in my opinion. Unless I'm giving, you know, one person one point. But overall, that's something I wanted to note. So currently I have 75 points and I can pick a reward or give a gift. So let's go ahead and pick a reward to see what that takes me. Alrighty, so here are the awards. So they have some recommendations for you depending on your um, job title. So I put HR member. By the way, I'm not an HR member. That's just something I put. So they have the recommended because of, you know, human rights campaign, the Trevor project, different things like that. But they also have categories based off of, you know, gift cards or different programs. So here are some common ones. Let's just go to Marshall. So I clicked Marshall and I can get a certain amount of money in my gift card dependent on my points. So here's 50 points for $5. I have 75 so it's not enough for $10, but $5 is enough. You can select that and then either send that gift card to a friend or you can even redeem it. So sending a gift card to a friend is another way that you can show recognition without giving points. I would recommend, you know, still giving points just because they get to choose, you know, what they get in my opinion. So, but overall, it's still the thought, it's still the thought that counts. But there's quite a bit here. There is some clothing, beauty, and spa. You can cash it out, either PayPal or allowance boost. You can do donations. So it's more than just gift cards. You know, it allows you to donate to some common um, programs if you want to. So I feel like that's very nice. And I feel like that's a great idea to 
implement into this tool. Next, we have the awards. With in general, with employee recognition tools, there tends to be, there tends to be rewards and awards. So here's a social media award, an exercise award. You know, you can create one if you want to. So awards tend to have titles, while rewards are the points that they can redeem if they want to. And then moving on to analytics. So what I like about this tool is that they do have a lot of analytics that you can view. So they, they make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit, you know, packed with information. You have participation and organization graphed, recognition given, received, points given. And here are the unique hashtags based off of the um, company values I was mentioning earlier. So here are some of the company values. Here's the leaderboard and some top words to use such as customer, loved, congratulations. So it just promotes like a little bit of positivity in my mind. Then next we have some integrations. They integrate with Microsoft Teams, Google Hangouts, Slack, etc. and so forth. So that's always beneficial to have an integration. Now moving on to the pros and cons. Overall, I like the analytics that this tool offers. It makes it a little more packed with information, I feel like. I've seen other tools with analytics, but it didn't have as much, so it was hard to talk about it. But I also like that they really encourage you to connect points with company values. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but it's just a way of thinking, oh, we're all about volunteering, and this person has been volunteering every Saturday, let's give them points, different things like that. The pros is that you do get a monthly allowance, so you don't have to worry, you know, spending points that you've been given. So to give points away, you have a separate points. So obviously you can't give those to yourself, but those are two separate things, the points that you have and the points that are meant to be given away. As for the cons, I'm unsure if the monthly points will vary you know, depended on the company size, I feel like that should happen just because, you know, people will be a lot more stingier if they have a big company size. They want to be very careful with who they're sending their points with, as you should, but, you know, there might not be as much recognition or as many rewards redeemed just because, you know, everyone's sending out one point or, you know, two points, different things like that. But overall, I really enjoyed this tool. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any pros or cons, feel free to add them down below. If you have any alternatives, feel free to add those down below as well. But thank you for watching.